Hey, what's going on, everybody? Y'all know who it is, J Day. You know, we back at like an attic, no rehab, because you know I'm addicted to giving you guys some the advice. So, I don't know if I answered this question, <clears throat> but I believe I probably answered this question in previous videos or answered it <clears throat> probably more often than I did not. So, a couple people been a couple people have been messaging me and answering me. So, like, like they're about to get their money and they're about to start buying some cars to flip, and they're asking me what is the best cars to flip. Man, honestly, 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 um, I can't say there's no one perfect car to flip, man. You just have to find, like, either you can go out there and buy cars that you like, and, you know, you uh, then you end up selling to more people that's, like, kind of like yourself that likes that car as well. But, man, I don't, <clears throat> I don't think there's just one particular car man and then people ask me like how do i check out the vehicles man it, i i'm gonna tell you it's no it's no science to checking out these vehicles man i mean you can check them out but th th look at it like this the car you're driving right now is a, it's considered a used vehicle because it's yours you're using it so it's a used vehicle it's not new anymore it's you and you can wake up you can literally go outside you can literally wake up tomorrow or wake up today and your battery's no good your alternator went out your belt broke your starter um, your radio stopped working for some reason. Your sunroof stopped operating. Um, your, your car started making a squeaking noise or something, you know. Your car started leaking oil. You never know. So, it's no perfect science, really, to checking out these cars. I mean, all you can do is check them out. And all you can do is really check them out the best you can, you know. Make sure you get, get you a little scan tool if you're going to buy some cars. Get, like, they have a little Bluetooth scan tools, but also you can buy, like, little cheap scan tools for, like, 20 bucks or so. If the car is having a check engine, like, you know, hook it up, put the code in Google, see if the code, if it's, if it's something that you think you can fix, you know, go ahead and buy the car. You know, that's what I would say. If it's something that you, if it's something that you think you can fix, go ahead and buy the car. If, you know, you look it up and you see the part ain't too expensive and you think, and they think that's the only thing wrong with it, go ahead and buy the car, you know. Um, yeah, get you a little scan tool to get your Bluetooth. I say get your Bluetooth one that you can always carry around, or just get your little small handheld one. You know, either one. You know. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, back to the. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Back to the um, cars. I mean, it's no perfect. It's no. The best advice I can give you is, you get your money. I literally would tell everybody like this is not a good time if you're thinking about going like buying cars because you know everybody's marking their car up you know that 2005 grand marquis that was on marketplace a week ago for 1250 it's 3250 now 2850 it's some it's some it's something crazy you know you know it was a month ago uh, three weeks ago when the person was trying to sell it because they needed some money for something now they got some tax money back now that car is thirty two fifty, twenty eight fifty, you know. You know, so like but still it's still i I'ma still tell you, like, if you're getting your money, it's still plenty of deals on marketplace because it's a lot of people that's gonna be selling their cars that don't know what they're actually really worth, you know, and then think of, and then really you can buy a lot of these cars and just clean them up for like a hundred hundred no more like you get a car that don't look like you know, that you can literally clean it up within like 200 bucks 200 bucks you know get some hubcaps radio maybe tint the windows uh fix any you see if you can clean up any little body blemishes or anything like that or anything like that so it's still plenty of cars like that i'm not going to tell you it's no specific it's not any specific car that they buy that's like because you can ask a lot of people you're going you're going to get the people like my guy Timothy, he uh, he's gonna he always comment, don't buy a Chrysler product. But then you're gonna get a lot of people that swear it's bought a Chrysler, died, and all that is a great product. Then you're gonna get the people that swear that Ford is no good. The people that say Chevy no good, you know. And then people are gonna say like buy Toyota's Hondas. Yes, Toyota's Honda. Then that everybody think about Toyota Honda. Then that's why you're gonna see a Toyota Honda in there with 250. That's gonna be priced crazy. A Honda's gonna have 250 because everybody know how good the reliability is. Yeah, those are good cars, but all cars are like all. I say all cars. A lot of cars are good cars to sell because they wouldn't have sold originally in the first place. You know, they wouldn't have sold thousands of thousands of these cars 
hundreds of thousands of these cars and kept producing them if they wasn't like if somebody didn't like them so you got to think about it think of it like that you know they produce these cars they sell thousands hundreds of thousands of these cars so somebody liked it so a hundred thousand or ten thousand whatever so people found that they liked that car so it's it's somebody like i said there's always gonna be some somebody for a sudden i mean every car and a car for everybody you know, like take like look if y'all if a lot of y'all watching Lucky, like Lucky used to buy the mess out of, like them Cobalt, like Cobalt was his thing, like Cobalt, Cobalt, Cobalt SS's. Lucky used to buy them. That was his go-to car, like his go-to flip car. Like if y'all knew Lucky before the YouTube and stuff like that when he had his life, them Cobalts, Cobalt, Cobalt SS's, HHRs. Like he was he was really just he was literally Chevy gang, like Chevy, like the little Chevy like. Malibu's and classic and stuff like that, but the Cobalt was his go-to car, and he, I know he made a killing off of those because he, you, he was getting those things, and and when you start getting your own lane, and a lot of people start seeing you buying that, like especially when you go into the auction, and people keep seeing you buying like a certain, uh, sometimes they just let off like oh, because it was times when when Cobalt's came through and they seen Lucky about to bid, nobody just let him get it because you know that's he ain't gonna stop bidding because that's that's his market, that was his thing. My thing was them Saturn Ions, like Saturn Ions, two doors, four doors. Love Saturn Ion. Used to buy and flip those things crazy. Buy them all day, you know, five to seven hundred, you know, three to seven hundred dollars. Flip them all day, 15, 17, 18, you know, depending on what year, you know, sometimes 0708 sold them for two grand, 2500. You know, those are the things. So it's not, I'm not going to say don't go out there and buy any cars, but, you know, get you a scan tool if, you, if you're going to do it. Go get you a scan tool. Go test drive the car um what else do i tell you go buy some car like if, if you if you think like honestly if you look if you go on marketplace and you look and think that car is going to make you some money go buy it and flip it you know because you it's it's a certain touch that you can put on the car that you can just change around literally you can literally go buy like you know like yeah let me just say take it in that but like a chevy cobalt say you see one up there with the like the steel wheels no tin on the window literally they're selling it. literally you can go sell you can go literally buy that same car that they're selling for whatever they're selling their price you know say if they're selling it for 15 you can literally go put some hubcaps tinted windows and literally turn around and sell that car for 2500 literally you can turn around and just do those two things you know do those two things and you can turn around and sell that car for 2500 you know you put a hundred and fifty dollars if it's running good you put a hundred fifty dollars you turn around and make you almost a thousand dollars that easy that's just something that you can literally just do like like because people are going to buy off of what the car look like so if the car is looking and then with with steel wheels you can go negotiate a little bit too and then also i learned i learned how to go about getting a title with bill so i was able to get the title to this toyota and to that lexus and it only cost me twelve dollars a piece so it was only twenty four dollars so i didn't have to go to the whole th title 42 process and stuff like that but i'll teach y'all how to do that in the course because you know you gotta have connection you gotta know somebody to know somebody that's why i will always tell you best thing you can do is talk to people and know some people because when you know more people you know the more it's going to help you but i appreciate you guys and if you haven't already you know like this video subscribe to the channel i'm out peace